Hi, I'm Jen. Today I'm going to install Stable Diffusion on Linux. First, search for and download Anaconda. Once Anaconda is finished downloading, open a terminal and let's install it. Use the chmod plus x command to make the file executable, then run it. Press enter to continue. Type yes to accept license terms and press enter. Confirm install location by pressing enter again or change your install location by specifying it here. Allow the installer to initialize Anaconda 3 by typing yes and enter here. Shut down the terminal and reopen it. Now type sudo apt install python 3.10 and press enter. Enter your password and hit enter. Python 3.10 is already installed on this setup. Then search for automatic 1111's github and then go to Stable Diffusion Web UI repository and pull down the code and copy the URL. Switch back into the terminal. If you don't have git installed, type sudo apt install git and press enter and type y to accept the install. Then type git clone and paste in the URL and hit enter. Run webui.sh in the terminal and let's get Stable Diffusion started installing. The Torch Vision step takes a long time, so I'll search for Stable Diffusion 2.1 from Hugging Face and download the checkpoint file. Once the checkpoint file is finished downloading, move it from the downloads directory into the Stable Diffusion Web UI Models Stable Diffusion folder. Switch back into the terminal and run webui.sh. This will take a while and then it'll fail. Follow the provided link in the error message to locate and download the config file associated with your model's checkpoint file. Download the YAML file into the same directory as your checkpoint file and rename it to have the same name as your checkpoint file. Run the webui.sh script again. Copy the URL into a web browser and you should now have a working copy of Stable Diffusion locally installed with Linux. If your version 2 is generating black images like mine, navigate to the Stable Diffusion root folder, open the launch.py file with a text editor, and find the line that contains the text command line. Add the arguments dash dash precision full and dash dash no dash half between the double quotes and save the file. Run webui.sh. You should see the arguments you saved appear in the console. Copy the URL into a web browser and confirm that this has fixed your problem.